What's up guys, my name is B-Waggy, and this is episode 1 of B-Waggy Industries, or this is Tech-It, or actually it's Technic, but pretty much the same thing as Tech-It. So what I've done is I've started a world called B-Waggy Industries, and gotten the boring parts done with, which means I've gotten the, um, the, uh, all the mining and stuff out of the way, and actually I've gotten a lot done. So... I spawned way over there and started a mine, um, and was able to get a ton of stuff. I mean, as you can see, I have a lot of good stuff. Got a lot of tin. I've made macerators and stuff. All that stuff. I've come a long way. And this was just to get rid of the boring parts of tech it or Technic, which, in my opinion, is the mining. And I've also been able to build my first power source, which is when we kill this snake. Um, I got a snowball for that. No, never mind. Which is a low voltage solar array leading to a bat box. And I'll explain all this as this goes on. Each, there's four of those. And that took a good bit of, uh, that's what I wanted to get to. I wanted to get to that power, s whoops, that power system before I, before I started. So as you can see, we've kind of built our house into a, a mountain here. Looks pretty cool. And one thing that I want to focus on in Technic is that all of the machines that I build also look nice. So we're going to kind of put them inside frames, if you will. So let's build our first one. So this is coming down from that bat box, which is full power. And I think the first thing that we should build should be, let's see. Maybe a... What do we want to do? Hmm. We have some more solar panels there. I'm trying to think of what I want to build. Let's see what machines we have here. Um, actually, let's go down to the item subsets. Uh, machines. What's gatherers? No, generators. Processors. Canning machine. Compressor. Electric furnace. Extractor. Induction furnace. Iron furnace. Macerator. Let's see, utility. Let's see what, um, what's build graph? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, what do we want to build today? We want to build, hmm, maybe a macerator setup. Yeah, that sounds good. And we'll put our first one right back here. And that could easily be subject to change. This could be, I think in the end, it'll be a pretty big, extensive machine. Um, probably to do a lot of big things. So what we're going to need, we're going to need our cobblestone transport pipes and our some wooden transport pipes. And um, we have our engines. We'll need a... No, we won't need a bat box. We'll put that away. Put that away. Um, put one piece of cobble away. That away. So we'll build a macerator setup. And one thing I never built was a bed. So, for right now, we're going to put this there. So there. Welcome back, guys. Um, this is the design I have settled on right here. It took a lot of trial and error, because I pretty much did not know what I was doing that much. Um, I was getting confused as to what way the... Um, Okay, I see that the sounds in my earphones are way up, but those animal noises are getting really annoying. Um, but I was having a lot of trouble with what way the pipes had to go to pull things out of them and stuff like that. But anyway, what we have is we have our inputs here, and I'm going to show you how it works in just a second. Whoa. So I'll show you a sample with this one. So this wooden pipe extracts using the power from that, that motor right there extracts anything in there and brings it into the macerator. The macerator is being powered by our solar uh, panel array up there. So it gets into the macerator which turns it into dust. The dust is then extracted by this engine into our furnace which I was able to collect a bunch of coal. So into our furnace which is then gets cooked back into ingots and stuff which is then extracted using that motor up over and then into its corresponding chest and then they're all the same that way and this switch just powers these motors 
Um, there's a switch back behind that powers those motors, and that switch powers those motors. And I did it. I wanted to make it look. I wanted all the motors to be going in unison because it looks better. But yeah. So I'll give you a quick sample, and then we're gonna call it an episode. So, so we can see we have our things up here, and then our corresponding chests over here. So I already have some in the iron, but we'll put in all of it in the iron. So you'll see this will slowly start to deplete, like that. This is our tin one, we'll put all of our tin in there, and all of our copper in there. So you see our blocks going up through the thing, and they're going into the macerator. So you can see that macerator's on, all these macerators are on. This one's going to be on in a sec. There we go. So if we step back here. What the heck? Take a look. We're going to see it getting macerated. And then, yeah. So this is all still covered up. I'm still having... They're so annoying, all the animals and stuff. So then once it gets macerated, I don't... Let's see if we can see it. Actually, we'll take another step inside. See? All the dust is going into the furnace here. And it's gonna get um, whatever it's called. See, like this, the same way. This is going in there, and it's getting smelted, and it's coming out and going into its corresponding thing. So obviously, this is the tin. This one's gonna take the longest to get there, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's this setup. So. Now we can probably watch our things start flowing in here. We should see seven and then eight soon. Um. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. There it is, seven. So yeah. Um. We should have one here soon. So you can see all of our things flowing. Looks pretty cool. We should get one in here any second now. Um, but yeah, this is our main, for right now, this is going to be our main machine. And this could be subject to change. Hopefully, I'm going to expand this thing downward, this little room. So we should get, a, there it is. We should get a piece of copper in here any second. But that looks pretty cool, all the stuff flowing. Um, that's what I like about it. And I made it all symmetrical. So we should a piece, see a piece of copper in here any second now. Um, it had a longer way to travel, but, uh, doesn't really matter. There it is. So yeah, so what I wanted to do, I want to expand this downward. Um, let me see how much time. Alright. I want to expand this downward. Uh, hopefully I can build a machine on there, that wall, that wall, and that wall. And then as we go down, do the same thing. Um, kind of make it like a big factory. So for right now, we're going to take all of our, um, not the refined iron, the refined iron can stay. All of our copper and whatnot. Where is our copper? There it is. But you know what? We're going to put this copper in to, uh, smelt over here. We have one more furnace. There it is. Um... So much copper is there there. We'll just let it do itself. But yeah, so we're going to put these in here. Actually, no, let's see how much we get out of that. Because with each ore block... So actually, it's all been taken out of there. All been taken out of there. It's all been taken out of there, too. With each ore block, it doubles. Because the macerator turns one like iron ore block into two iron dust and then that iron dust can then be smelted into an iron block or an iron ingot each so if you get two dust from one ingot you're essentially getting two ingots from one block or not if you're getting two dust from one block you're essentially getting two dust or two ingots from one block that's what i'm trying to say so yeah we're getting a good amount in each of these I think our iron is almost done. Yeah, this is our machine here. And it's all being powered by, depending on what time it is. Oh, cool, it's day. 
What the heck is that? Oh, it's a rat. Give me that coal, you stupid rat. Oh, it's a mad dog. Alright, what did I just get? Fur. There's so many strange animals and they're always after me. I hear them outside. They can hear me through the walls, I think. Hopefully there's nothing up here. But yeah, this is what it's all being powered by. And this should be keeping a good amount. See, yeah. It's barely changing. And then at night, it, it's strong enough to keep it all of its charge. There's some purple grass over there. There's some... Whoa. What are these things called? Uh, scorpions. Let's go kill these scorpions. Hopefully without dying. Yeah, good die. Okay. That's creepy. Sneak attack. Okay. So, yeah. Um, let's go check on our machines. Or our machine, and then I'm gonna call it a video. Gotta get going. Ooh, turtles. AD. Home. It's right there. I think we're home. We're home right now. How many meters till home? <laughs> Let's see here. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, ba boom, boom. Boom. We're all closed off. This is gonna make me mad. There. Alright, so we should be almost done. Doesn't look like we're almost done with the iron. Let's see how much. 22, 35, 25. We're cranking along. Let's see. And then this door right there is just for refilling these with coal when necessary. But it didn't look like we used too much, which is good. So, what do we have left here? We're done with. Everything except the, um, the, uh, iron, it looks like. See, and these are all still powered. So, yeah, this is kind of what I want to do. I want to make everything inside a little case. Like a display case, like this. To, to show everything. So that looks pretty cool. With all the pistons moving in unison, or the motors. Looks pretty cool in my opinion, and maybe at some point we can replace these with steam, but I doubt it. I don't like having to waste all that coal for steam. Hopefully we can get a quarry going soon. We can dig this out ourselves, or we can have that dig it out. But yeah, we'll see. There's there's endless amount of options that we have with this, and I think that's all the iron that's flowing. Um, so I think that's it. I don't know if we're gonna get any more. 44, 22, 28. So that's what we got, which means that we were working with 22 iron. 22 iron blocks. 11 car, 11 tin, and 14 copper, which I think is what I had. So yeah, and it all bases off of that one power source right in there. And that comes down and branches down and, and powers each of the, the macerators. So yeah. Boom. That's that. So let's drop off all of our iron and, and such. That's just stuff that I had gotten before. It's not a big deal. Oop, that's not the right home for that. Alright, this goes in there. Whoops, son of a gun. Alrighty. So yeah, that's episode one of uh, B-Wag Industries, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so yeah, have a great day.